I'm back. Let's go. Coyote Hills Regional Park.
Hey everyone, Happy New Year. How are you all doing? <laughs> Ooh. So I uh, just got back from Oregon a couple days ago uh, with the family. We were visiting, um, I guess my dad's house. He passed away in June, but his partner still lives there. Uh, I went there to take care of some of my dad's final things. Um, kids got to relax, wife got to relax there. It rained a lot, but it was very, very beautiful. <laughs> so we are back now, settling in. Uh, this is an awesome place. I haven't been here before, um, but as you can see from the scenery, it's pretty amazing. A few announcements or a few updates. Um, we're at 238 subscribers, so we have 12 more to get to 250, and I promise two things. First, a uh, workshop on koans. Most likely this will be held on Zoom, so once we get to 250, I'll arrange all of that stuff and um, send out notices and uh, make sure we have that updated on YouTube. Uh, but also, my wife and I are gonna do a live stream. Many of you have been asking me about this <laughs> on a weekly basis. So it's gonna be her and I doing a live stream on YouTube on my channel. And it's gonna be like a ask anything you want live stream. It was her idea. She thought some people have some kind of idea about me and she wants to take away that idea. <laughs> So it sounds like a lot of fun. So let's go. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That is if you like these kind of videos. I want to thank all the patrons who've been supporting me on Patreon and supporting my project. Um, it's been just amazing, blowing me away. So uh, thank you for all that. We had a meeting yesterday. Uh, we meet once a month on Zoom to kind of check in and talk about Zen and life and things like that. So uh, if you are interested in joining us on Patreon, check out the link in the description. I promised a Patreon community that I would do bonus workshops. Uh, one of the workshops are gonna be about the 10 ox herding pictures. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can check it out, uh, maybe Google it and check it out. Um, but I think it's uh, a very important teaching that can apply to our everyday lives. So those are my very short updates. I'm very glad to be back. I really miss all of you. Um, I miss doing the live streams for Empty Gate Zen Center. Um, I should be, should be back and going. I don't see any or foresee any implications coming up, but as in life, we never know. So let's go on a journey. Hello, friends. 
Looks like you survived Thanksgiving and Christmas. Wow, well, it's really good to be out again and back home, back in nature. As I mentioned, our Patreon group met yesterday and we talked about uh, the New Year's and New Year's resolutions, right? It seems to be a very common thing, at least here in the West, <laughs> that people make resolutions like, uh, the beginning of the year, I'm gonna lose 30 pounds or I'm gonna quit smoking or I'm gonna quit drinking or drink less or stay off social media you know, all these different kinds of things. And usually these resolutions don't last. Maybe a month, maybe two, then they're all out the window. <laughs> um, I always think, for me, the New Year's is to remember our direction in life. Because when I look at New Year's resolutions, the question that comes up for me is, well, why did we gain all this weight? Or why am I drinking so much? Or why do I need so much satisfaction from social media? Right? So, you know, these are just symptoms or results from something much bigger. That's why in Buddhism and Zen, we investigate the source of suffering. There's a saying, forget about the branches, get to the root. So get to the root of suffering. So we can ask this question, what is it that needs something outside of myself? Whether it's fame, whether it's money, whether it's entertainment, or to have a good feeling, what is it that makes us grasp after something outside of ourself? It's important to ask this question, what is it do I really want? And why do I want it? I have a friend who works in the hospice and he said that many people are in their deathbed as they're dying, right? They're not thinking about, oh, I should have made more money or I should have had more degrees. Um, I should have been on social media more. I should have partied hard. <laughs> it's always, what did I really do in this life? So we say that there's many important things in this life, but really what is the most important thing, right? There's something that we already have that's already clear and complete in this moment. What is that thing? There once was a monk named Deju, and he went to Zen Master Majo, in Chinese his name was Zen Master Matsu. And when the monk came, the Zen Master asked, well, what do you want from me? And Ma, uh, Deju said, I want you to teach me the Dharma. Maju replied, what a fool you are. You already have the greatest treasure inside you. And yet you go in around asking people about this treasure. This is nonsense. I have nothing to give you. So Deju bowed and said, uh, please master, what is this treasure? And Zen master Matsu replied, where is this question coming from? This very question is your treasure already inside you. Nobody can give you this treasure. Nobody can take it away. And yet you go around visiting all these teachers and monasteries looking for something that you already have. Why then are you running away from yourself rather than looking inside? 
And upon hearing this, Deju realized his own enlightenment. In the Quantum School of Zen and also many other monasteries and Zen centers, the winter time is a time to set a three-month retreat. Uh, we call it uh, kilche, which means tight dharma. And it happened organically in the past when uh, the weather was too cold to travel, so the monks and nuns would stay at the monasteries and, and sit zazen. And during this three-month period, they made a strong effort into their sitting practice. In the quantum school of Zen, we also carry this tradition. So the Providence Zen Center, uh, we have the Zen Center in Warsaw, our temple in Korea, uh, temple in Hong Kong, are all doing this three-month retreat during this winter. Um, when I was living at the Providence Zen Center, I set many of these three-month retreats. And at the Providence Zen Center, you can set uh, one-week increments. So one week, two weeks, three weeks, all the way to three months. But there were some people whose life situation did not allow them to participate in this retreat. So we created this thing called Heart Kilche. So basically that means the spirit of this three-month retreat. I found that there was people in basically two kinds of situations. Some people, like near the end of the year, because of the holidays and traveling, um, maybe they used to have a meditation practice at home and it completely <laughs> went out the window, right? So this heart kilche was a time to reignite this effort into meditation practice. And some people already have maybe a daily practice, but they want to make an effort to do more extra practice or to maybe take their meditation into their life and to help others. As I was saying early, for me, it's a really wonderful time to remind us of our intention. What is it that I really do want? And why do I want it? You often hear me say that if we don't realize our original nature or enlightened nature, then anything we do is not going to be clear. So yeah, maybe your job is very important. Maybe your family is important or your friends or your situation is very important. But really the most important is perceiving our true self, really understanding our true self, because then that can shine to the rest of the world. If we ourselves are clear, if we are content right now in this moment, that shines to the rest of the world. That shines to our family, shines to our friend, and it shines to our work situation. So it's a really, really wonderful time to kind of uh, make our intention clear. So my recommendation, and you don't have to do this, of course, if you want, if you have New Year's resolutions, that's fine. But I think what's better um, is getting behind these resolutions. I think it's uh, more beneficial to really set our intention uh, for the new year to be clear. And it's very simple. What is my true self? And how can I use that? How can I manifest that in the rest of my life? Perhaps instead of making a New Year's resolution, make a New Year's revolution, right? Right now, wake up. Now, I always say, uh, if you hear, watch my streams, watch my videos, sometimes I'll say, have a clear day. Lately, I've been saying, have a clear New Year. But what that means is, is this moment clear? Make this moment clear. Because if this moment is clear, your life is clear. If this moment is not clear, your life is not clear. So right now, wake up. Let me know in the comments uh, if you made a New Year's resolution or maybe uh, even better is what is your intention right now uh, for your practice and for your life? I'm hoping in the new year that my uh, project on Patreon grows so we can make more live streams, make more videos, do more workshops, do more one-to-one -one outreach on Zoom. Uh, really, that's my focus on this channel. So if you are interested in this, if you made it this far in the video, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, really, thank you everybody for your support. I'm super grateful. It's helping my practice. It's also helping me with this direction I was talking about. So I want to thank everyone for your support and I will see you soon.